Welcome to the Boxing Gossip channel. Please hit subscribe if you're new. One topic that I meant to raise on last night's podcast but actually neglected to is the news that Lee Selby will take on Josh Warrington. It feels like this fight has been on the verge of being made for ages when both guys were with Matchroom and now with both guys with Frank Warren, the fight's been made and it's a big fight for both guys. The fight takes place in Leeds, so in Warrington's hometown, on the 19th of May. Understand that the venue is yet to be cons uh, confirmed, although we do understand it's to be in Leeds. So very, very interesting that. Let's see, uh, apparently there's a press conference next week. Let's see what venue's confirmed. Is it the Leeds Arena, where you know Josh Warrington's made his name? I remember when Eddie Hearn was talking about the fight, there was some suggestion that it could be Elland Road. Let's see. Let's see. I personally kind of think of this as more of a Leeds Arena fight um, than Elland Road. But who knows? Warrington does have a huge fan base in Leeds. He is a genuine top, top, top class ticket seller. Um, and maybe this in the biggest fight of his career could merit taking it to an even bigger venue. I think that's interesting. So a lot of people asking me for my thoughts on the fight, and it's a fight we've discussed numerous times on the channel before. So as a result, this will not be the most extended video. My thoughts are that this is the right fight to make, it's a good fight to make, and it's a fight that I applaud being made. Having said that, and I'm gonna be brutally honest, it's not a fight that I go to bed at night and lie awake dreaming of. It's not a fight that gives me butterflies in my stomach. It's not a fight that I'm you know, adding to my calendar thinking, wow, must make sure that I'm in that Saturday night when this fight goes on. Now, some people will say that's me hating on the fight. Really, it's just my honest opinion. Um, take it as I say it. Um, I don't see this fight, and I never have seen this fight as a competitive fight. Josh Warrington is a dramatically improved fighter. He has hugely overperformed from what I believed he would do, and he has progressed technically and put on massively improved performances in the ring. He's a lot more educated of a technician than he used to be. He's a lot more patient than he used to be. He's a lot more schooled than he used to be. And he's put together decent strings of form. However, Lee Selby is someone I consider to be an elite talent, an elite boxer, and an elite technician. Warrington, he's a high-class presser fighter. For me, he's a guy who comes forward relentlessly and... In many ways, that is the kind of style that is going to appeal most to Lee Selby. Now, granted, Warrington has improved his footwork, his defence and his jab, but still, he is that kind of route one attacker in comparison to Lee Selby. And I actually think stylistically, it wouldn't surprise me whatsoever if this fight resembled David Lemieux versus Billy Joe Saunders, with Josh Warrington being David Lemieux and Billy Joe Saunders being Lee Selby. I suspect Lee Selby will be up on his toes, using the whip for the ring, moving laterally on the back foot, timing and countering Warrington. I think this is, bizarrely, the biggest fight of Lee Selby's career. It's certainly the biggest fight of Josh Warrington's career. But let's face it, Lee Selby's 30 years old. He won that world title in 2015. By the time he steps in the ring with Josh Warrington, Lee Selby will have been a reigning world champion for three years. And, in my opinion, he's yet to have a career-defining fight. He's yet to have a fight that's caught the public's imagination. If Selby retired tomorrow, what would we say was the, our best memory of Selby? Maybe the win against Gradovitz? You know, it's hardly elite form. It was hardly a, you know, a fight that you know, was necessarily celebrated in the wider public. So for me, this is Lee Selby's biggest platform, his biggest opportunity. And at this stage of his career, it's a career-defining fight. You'd have to say Selby has earning potential in the next year or two, far above what he's had in the last year or two. The idea of him fighting maybe Carl Frampton with, uh, you know, now they're both under the Frank Warren banner. Um, you know, there's some huge paydays out there for Lee Selby. So for me, this is his career-defining fight. Um, this is his biggest opportunity in terms of PR, and it's a fight that will create the route to really big paydays against the likes of Frampton. No mistakes can be made and no mistakes can be afforded when we've seen Selby in the past he's given hit and miss performances we've seen him at his very very best looking like a world-class fighter we've seen him at his very worst being involved in clumsy scrappy fights where he doesn't get out of first gear my take is that fighting away from home in front of the Leeds faithful in a fight of this magnitude will bring out the very very best of Lee Selby I think we'll see a Selby who's on form I think we'll see a Warrington who's on form but when you have two guys at their best, I have no question in my mind that Lee Selby is far superior of the two. I believe his class and his pedigree um, is far above 
uh, Joss Warrington, even at Warrington's very, very best. For me, it comes down to skills and technique, and Warrington is lacking compared to Selby in that front. I see it as a relatively easy fight for Lee Selby, actually. I don't give Warrington much of a chance whatsoever. I you know, don't want to be too harsh about it. I give Warrington a 5% chance in this fight. I see it as a, a relatively straightforward and routine fight um, for Lee Selby. I would agree. I have been guilty of underrating Josh Warrington in the past, and it's cost me. You know, I've made some incorrect predictions on this channel, and I've, I've got things wrong on the basis that I've underrated Josh Warrington. I do now acknowledge that Warrington is better than I initially thought. But having said all that, I think it's clear watching him that he is not an elite fighter. I think technically there are gaps. Defensively, there are gaps. I think there's a predictability about Warrington's work. And I think for a guy like Lee Selby, um, it's going to be easy money. That's my take, guys. Uh, it's the right fight to be made. Career-defining fight for both guys at this stage of their career. The winner will go on to bigger, bigger, better things. Applaud it being made. Struggling to get excited because I just don't see it as competitive. Give me your take. Leave your comments in the section below. If you agree, if you enjoy this content, please hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already done so, please press subscribe.